Howdy! This is my second time recording a video and it had a lot of different content in it, but I decided to get this out of the way first and most and foremost. One, I can't stream on disc, uh, stream on YouTube for my phone anymore because you need a thousand subscribers to do that. Reason why? No flipping clue. Second of all, and the primary, the prime point of the video, people tell online. Some of you might know this, some of you may have forgotten about it, some of you are like, that's new, what is it? It was pretty much just an MMO online for Undertale. All the maps for Undertale, you can do things, fight frogets and all that. A lot of it was unfinished and it will remain unfinished as of now, since it died like a year ago or something. Jeez. But just because I was like, hey, I want to play this again. Uh, anyway, how I can like make my own server to let peeps play who still want to. It's like, oh, Jesus here just gave me all the files and let me take control, continue his legacy, as Jesus said to me. And yeah, I'm now in control. Uh, you've, there's a lot of processes to making it. This, first of all, is an engine that nobody knows how to use. There's no actual tutorials on it that are in English. So first off, when you're making this, like the insect, uh, it's like the insect engine. So you need to run the server, which I have here which allows you to not only play the game, but also edit the game to where I have this open, play the game. I want to show you the game first. I'm trying to just make this a quick video so I can slap it on YouTube because it's been eons, as I say. Log in, log in. You don't need to actually make an email. It just needs to look like an email, which is concerning. But welcome. This is not where I'm supposed to start off, but this is in the my ruins pretty much. The thing is that there's no maps from Undertale in this anymore. There's just tile sets, yes, and all a lot of it's similar, but for the most part it's new and custom. And one of our guys is hopefully trying to get custom tile sets. So all this will be updated once again once we get more tile sets, like just details and everything. Stuff on the ground, stuff in the water, pillars that are broken, fallen over, stuff like that. And there's a weird glitch right going on, that where froggets don't take any damage, and now they won't deal any damage to me. So I need to figure out what the heck I did wrong. I don't. I deleted a lot of stuff, which may be a problem. This area is unfinished. Anything you see cut off is because that's where the kind of tile for the map works. It's weird. It works in segments where you can connect the maps together to give the illusion where they're just a bigger map. But they're all a bunch of smaller maps. This is the minor dog. Yeah, stuff are still kind of broke. Uh, this one's fine. The sign, you can just kind of go in. Oh, well. Uh, for the most part, everything's good. I don't see a rock I can go into yet. Yeah, all the rocks are fine. Also this, oh no, this is broken. I need to fix the layer it's on. Yeah, there's some problems here. Oh God. For the most part, this is really it. So that's the game. Uh, let's see. This is all the maps, which are just, you can see what I mean here. Uh, I was thinking of playing something off here for a shop. Uh, there's four ruins here is where actually stuff happens. The crossroads split off either or. Minor dog. This is map and map. Let's do that. I haven't gave this a name. Oops. Interesting stuff. But that's really it for this. This engine's like wonky. There's like, it's a lot more complicated in the sense of how layers work. You get your base level, which is the ground. This level, which is, this little face is determined where the player is. This is the ground, this is pathways and rubble. This is on the player level. One above and the one on the top. So there is, I don't know why there needs to be five. I would say these two are the most important and then this one. But this is still pretty good for stuff above the stuff. Which is good. Uh, you can do a lot of things, you make NBCs, attributes, uh, view, I didn't, don't know what that does. Uh, class editor, pretty much your races, human and monster. I don't know what I did wrong to where they broke and how they work. 
Oh, wait a second, is that the problem? Is that what I did wrong? They just didn't have any base damage? Hold on. Uh, hold on, I need to save the... Save map. Just save everything. Uh, client. Is that why this is broken? Because I was having trouble figuring out what the heck I did wrong. It just seemed like I broke everything. Oh god, I do crazy damage, so I need to fix all that. So yeah, okay, that works. I fixed that, so when I re remake this again, everything will be fixed. So, a lot. Beforehand, there's all Undertale maps. Those are no more. So yeah. Uh, what else? Going back to the People Tale stuff. Join the Discord, and there will be a link to this Discord, which is the Souls and Ruins, which I'm renaming the game to. Just because it just makes more sense. Just souls and ruins. You have your souls and you're going through ruins in the beginning part of it. So it just made sense. It's also kind of a reference to something I tried beforehand. This is our team. A fan. Uh, old creator who knows everything but didn't tell really anyone much. So we're all kind of learning how to use the engine here. You can pop in and become a learny. Which, we're teaching people how to use the engine, or at least he is. And you can do some crazy stuff. Attack, sight, friendly guard. There's a lot of interesting stuff. So if you ever need to learn things, then pop in here, learn stuff, maybe even help out. Because, mostly, we are needing a server runner, because we kind of have our group of people. Though, Detector here is the one making, like, the tile sets. And he's kind of struggled with it for a very long while, huh? But hopefully he's able to get through that, because... Ah, uh, well, that's really it. I just hope he gets through it. We have Jesus, uh, Alerni... Oh, he went off. My manager, she helps me out. Alerni, Alerni... Yeah, most of us are Lernies. Though, if I go to the pixel art... Yeah, I believe he was also helping. He made this really cool Whimson, so that's nice. I, I got you requested for this color. Yeah, this is his sprite. So we just need to take this, make the animations for it, and then we're good. Here's a 2x2, two two, unlike the frogget, which I made this thing, which is a 3x3 three three compared to this 1x1. One one. This and the goats you can see back here, this is a different layer, but these goats are all the same size. So I need to upscale these all 3x3 three three once we get to that point, but for now they're the 1x1 one one version. All I need to do is copy this, paste it here, copy this, flip it, paste it here, and then this is done, which is good because I'm tired of working on it. And everything I've been just lazy as hell. <gasps> oh, Nani, that is the greatest mistake you could ever make me. So let's move these frogets up here. And yeah, we'll be done with that shortly. Just need to make also variations because like I said, we're going to have different types of monsters for each area. We're going to have different areas, which I mentioned in the video that you'd never get to see. There's like a forest, a swamp, updated ruins, Snowden. Ruins are going to stay ruins. Snowden's going to not have the name Snowden. Waterfall may have waterfall. Also might be a mushroom area too, so it's like be more of the Temi village area. Uh, so waterfall, Snowden. Snowden will not be called Snowden. Waterfall will obviously have waterfall name potentially. Hotlands might have a better name. We may have a core, but for the most part, things are going to be different. The forest, I don't know. Maybe we'll have simple names. Maybe we won't. But for the most part, this is going to be a very upscaling of the project. So hopefully, hopefully you guys will pop in. Because in here, there is a link, I believe, yeah, to the Souls and Ruins. There's so many people on here, like 60 plus people, 73, yeah. So hopefully we can bring back to life this game. 
and hopefully do it justice. That's really it. We're just if you're willing to help, we'll help. You can we'll take it to help. We're mainly looking just for sprites and anyone who actually knows how to use the engine. What else? Sprites, engine, tile sets are a big thing. If you want to become the tile set sprite working team, then definitely pop in with the detector here. Since he's actually the original co dev. So now he's with me, working on the same footing. Uh so yeah, he's working on tile sets. Help him out if you can, because he's struggling. He figured out the tile size and all the color stuff for the ruins, so he just need to figure out how to kind of not have the artist block. So yeah, help him out, that'd be much helpful. And yeah, that's really it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's literally all I have for this feel. Sphere, sphere, for this a never a new chat, which is 11 minutes. That's good, better than the 30 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully, in a video I recorded in the past. Because still, Pokemon, the tabletop for peace and war, Black House computer is still kind of being repaired. It's taking eons. It's going to be so weird going and popping back into it. But I've joined, uh, what was it? I think two PTU games within that time. Solitude and... Just a really big living world one, which is taking place in Johto. Uh, I was going to plan to record both of those, but then I just ended up forgot it, forgetting. Forgotting. <laughs> yeah, I just forgot about those. But yeah. Uh, let's see, that's really it. I keep saying that I'm still recording. So I'm going to end this here and see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tidbit of me staying alive. Bye!